All right, everybody. So I've rebooted the phone. Like I said, um, you know, it'll still show this. As you can see, please reboot phone manually. Executed 100%. You know, I've um, I've rebooted my phone and everything, and it still says that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is unplug the USB cable. Okay. Then we're going to go up here, and I'll show you what it's going to say uh, as soon as we close this down. I'm going to go ahead and click on the close button here and it's going to say application is currently busy uh, closing the application may damage the attached device you wish to continue we don't have a choice so you're going to have to click yes now that's closed down we're going to go ahead and jump into fast mode and this is where we all the magic happens this is where we unlock your phone so um, what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close the phone back down turn it off and um, I'm going to add um, a little annotation at the beginning of this video because I did forget to mention, and I'm hoping that everybody watches this video from start to finish before performing these steps. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that your phone is, uh, your phone's USB debugging is enabled, okay? And um, how you do that is, um, am I zoomed out all the way? Yes. Uh, how you're going to do that is you're going to go into menu, settings. You're going to go into Applications. Um, I don't even have Unknown Sources checked. Okay, that probably could help. Um, and then you're going to go into Development. And in Development, you're going to see USB debugging, and you're going to go ahead and enable that. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is um, uh, when you connect your thing um, and uh, your USB cable and uh, the little USB connection pops up, um, you're going to click on the USB connection and go down and select None. Okay, um, I didn't do that on this phone. I don't. Um, supposedly, it's not supposed to work, but it did work. But anyways, um, just just that is kind of a fail safe, right? Um, anyway, so the phone's turned off. Now we're gonna boot it into fast boot mode. So in order to do that, what you're gonna go ahead and do is power button and. Um, oh, one more thing, make sure your goddamn phone battery is charged. If you even try to attempt this at 40 or 50% battery, you're going to hard break your phone. It'll fail and all this, you'll get a boot loop and all kinds of crazy shit. So make sure that um, the phone's charged up, like, you know, at least 70, 80%. Okay. Anyways, uh, moving on. Power button and volume down rocker this time. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Power button, volume down rocker. I'm holding, we're holding, we're holding. And that should put us into fast boot mode. There we go. Starting fast boot protocol. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is um, plug your phone back in. Uh, get in there. Okay. And um, then, and then, I will, it's going to be installing device drivers, doing all kinds of funky stuff, as you can see. Let's take a look at the, oh. And single DB interface, good stuff, looking good, ready to use, okay. So, now we're going to go ahead and um, you're going to open up a command prompt. So, uh, for my computer, I just go into the start menu, I go into all programs, I go on up to, um, scroll down to accessories, and bring that up for you, and then as you can see, there's a command prompt right there. Okay, now, uh, let me just center this for you guys. And this is what we're going to go ahead and start typing. Um, in order to get into your fast boot mode, uh, to have your computer and your phone talk, um, you're going to type cd space c colon, uh, was it, yeah, backslash, was it backslash? I'm pretty sure it was backslash, uh, atrix. Okay, as you can see, it opened up. We're now in that folder. Okay, now that we're in Atrix, um, you're going to type fastboot oem unlock. There, as you can see, unlocking your device can permanently void your warranty, and it'll even show. Oops, I just dropped my SD card or my SIM card. Um, as you can see on the phone. Are you going to show it? There you go. Unlocking your device may void your warranty. So, then, you'll notice here that um, uh, it says uh, reissue 
uh, reissued the unlock OEM command containing the unique ID of your device. Um, it's going to be different for your device and your friend's device and your mother's device and your dog's device, okay? So what you're going to go ahead there and do is um, we're going to retype, okay? We're going to retype fast boot OEM unlock um, zero uh, well, I'm just going to type it in for what I have anyways. You're going to be typing in your own thing. 0, 8, 4, 1, 4, 3, 4, 2, 9, F. And you're going to want to type in the caps. Like, type it in exactly as it is. F, 2, 3, 1, 7. We're going to go ahead and hit enter there. Oh, great. Fast boot is not recognized. Maybe I typed it in wrong. Um, did I type it in wrong? Okay, this happened to me last time with my own personal phone. And uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video and figure out what the hell I did wrong, and uh, be back in a second. Okay, so. Turns out I screwed up somehow or, or something. Anyways, I typed it in again, and um, this is what happened. Uh, you'll see these little three dots come across the screen really quickly. You're going to wait a few seconds, and then um, it tells you that your device is now unlocked. And as you can see on my phone, and I'll zoom out a little bit, boop, uh, the device is now unlocked. Pretty bloody fancy, eh? All right. So... Now your device is unlocked, so how do we get out of this? How do we get back into, um, um, you know, uh, getting ready to uh, boot 2.3.4, gingerbread and all this good stuff? Well, first things first, you're going to want to reboot your bloody phone, aren't you? So, what we're going to do is issue the command back in fast boot in order to reboot, okay? So you're going to type in fast boot, space, reboot, and hit enter. And now your phone is going to start rebooting. As you can see, there's nothing on the screen except for a bunch of dirt, and it'll read in the top left-hand corner, unlocked. Congratulations, everybody. You now have an unlocked bootloader. Okay. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment uh, for part two of the guide, if I haven't already broken this up into, <laughs> into a couple videos already. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, please, <laughs> if you appreciate these videos. And um, go ahead and click on to part two uh, if you want to continue on the process. If all you wanted was an unlocked bootloader and you want to be a lamer, stay as it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. We'll be back in a bit.